if you want to reach out to someone who's great and you haven't even done any research about them, you don't even know the, 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 the experience that they have or the things that they had to go through to become who they are. Once you get the opportunity to talk to them, who, what are you going to ask them that's going to make them feel like, yo, this person actually knows what I've been through and they deserve a moment or they deserve a minute with me. So you have to, before you even approach someone to become your mentor, you have to make sure you do your homework, you do your due diligence, you, you know something about them and you eager to learn from them. So before the opportunity comes for you to meet all these great people, you can actually tap into their wealth of knowledge by researching more about them, learning what actually makes them tick and then see if you can emulate that and become great. What's good family? This is Ownership and Greatness. I'm your host, Joe Chege, and I'm back. I'm back with another episode. As you already know, it's another week another blessing as always rising up every single day to live to the fullest of my potential and just knowing that every day is important like we need to make sure that every day counts so everything we do we have to be mindful and uh, do it with all our heart because tomorrow is not promised right i was talking to someone uh, about mentorship And I know we hear the word mentorship being thrown here and there. And for some of us, for majority of the people I know, the streets was our mentor. Like we didn't have people to look up to. We didn't have people who would advise us on the right things to do in life. Most of the time we had to learn the hard way or we had to just go out there and figure out how to do things. But the good thing about the times we're living right now is there's a ton of information out there. Like if you really want to become better in your life, if you really want to become great in anything you do, there's a huge possibility of you succeeding by just tapping into the right people. And I realized the one thing that always helps other people stand out is the people that they surround themselves with. So if you look at the greatest, like anyone that you know that became great, they had someone on their side, like they had someone on the sideline pointing them in the right direction. If we talk about uh, Mike Tyson, he had Custom Auto, like advising him, showing him the right things to do, showing him the right books to read, the right moves to make so he can become a champion. And the same thing happened to uh, Michael Jordan, like all these great people always had great coaches, they also had great mentors. And when we talk about the topic of mentorship, I believe at this time and age, it's important to have mentors. It's important to have people on your side who are going to hold you accountable and also help you chart this path of life. Uh, And the best way to do it is you need to identify what your passion is because you don't just need mentors if they're not in line with what you're passionate about. And I feel like we make mistakes where you just want to tap into someone just because they're wealthy, just because they're rich. But you have to ask yourself, are you willing to do the things they did to become who they are? So you have to be passionate about as something and then find the right people the right mentors that are in line with your passion or in line with your with your career path and one thing i can say is there are different types of mentors out here uh, you have people who actually value you and are willing to stand by you and support you and give you the right advice with no strings attached because they're trying to pay it forward because maybe they were in the same predicament you're in but were able to get the advice and the mentorship that they needed and now they're like you know what because i was able to break through this barrier i'm gonna make sure i i share these gems i share this knowledge with anybody who comes my way who's really interested in learning and though and and also we have mentors who are more like coaches like people who have mentorship classes they have this coaching program they have this master class where once you pay for the program you're able to go under them and you and they have a program where they'll teach you how to do certain things they'll help you uh, break the barriers that are holding you back from becoming great and we live in a society where not every single person is privileged. So the today, I'm just going to be talking about how are you going to be able to find mentors without paying a single dime. 
And the one thing I'm going to guarantee you is if you don't have the funds, but you still need a mentor, the one thing you need to put in is a lot of work. Like it's now upon you to make sure you're setting up a, a side, some time to actually do more research. And with that being said, we also have another way of finding mentors, great mentors, people who are doing great things in life. And uh, there's a way you can actually tap into their genius. You can actually tap into their wealth of knowledge and learn from them. But this method, you have to put in the work. This is the point where you have to work extra hard. Like you have to show up every single day and learn from them. You have to take the time that you have to soak in the game and actually put it into work. Like this is different because the method I'm talking about is we have a ton of mentors out here that you can learn from them and they don't even need to know that they're actually mentoring you. What am I talking about? You've heard of people studying the great. Let's say I want to become the greatest in basketball. And because I know Jordan was the greatest, Steph Curry is one of the greatest, LeBron is one of the greatest, not even forgetting Kobe Bryant, Allen Iverson, like all the greatest that came before you. And because you know how great they were, you decide, you know what, I'm going to sit down and go uh, on YouTube University or actually uh, do my research on all the magazines I can find, all the footage I can find of them uh, playing basketball. And you spend countless hours studying the game, countless hours immersing yourself in the knowledge. And not only that, uh, you immerse yourself in the knowledge and then you go out there and practice. You go out there and try out the ideas. You go out there and try the different moves that they made. Like the third option you have is for you to find mentors who you don't have access to. Maybe because of financial reason. Maybe because of where you are. Like you, you're in the in, in in Alaska or you're in Africa and you can't have access to meet all these great players. The only way you can tap into their wealth of knowledge or the only way they can actually mentor you is by studying their moves. And I believe this is one of the things that you don't even have to pay a single dime, but it's going to take you sacrifice and effort and dedication to take time and study the greatest. Take time and study the people you emulate, the people you look up to who are doing it great in the different industries that you're trying to, to, to advance. <laughs> And this has actually worked for me in a great way because as I was growing up, I had to figure out like, what did I want to become? I wanted to become a great artist. I wanted to become a, a one of the best graphic designer, creative artists. Like I'm talking about my aspiration was to become an animator. And when, when doing my research, they, we didn't have a ton of animators or creative artists in my era. And so I had to do research like I used to go online and, and look for all these creative magazines, look for all these great designers like research, dive in deep into the into the rabbit hole and, and learn on my own. And that's why uh, YouTube University has actually changed the game. Nowadays, when you want to uh, create something, you just go on YouTube and then you research on all the DIYs, uh, videos or tutorials that are available. And not only that, you can also go on TikTok, like TikTok ideas of if you want to garden, if you want to learn gardening, if you want to become an artist, if you want to become a musician, like there's a wealth of knowledge out there that you can tap into people who are actually doing it and learn from their mistake and that's going to elevate you to the next level so this is just an encouragement for anyone out there that actually wants to become better wants to become great or wants somebody who can hold them accountable or somebody who can actually point them in the right directions but they don't have access to their world of knowledge they can access them like have a one-on-one -on -one with them the only way you can be great the only way you can acquire mentors like a whole ton of mentors and learn from them is by tapping into their resources by researching more about their life like their do's their don'ts what are some of the challenges that they experience and all this information is free of charge type in on google right now boom mj michael jordan or watch all the highlights of his of his career uh if you want to research more about boxing you can go online and learn more about mike uh, mike tyson's highlights evander holyfield uh mayweather like all these great uh, sportsmen and what actually helped them stand out if you want to become an athlete you can learn more about kipchoge keino all these great athletes from from kenya usain Bolt. like you don't have 
to worry about not having mentors around, you can actually create a list of your mentors. I remember at one point in my life, I had a notebook where I had all these authors that I was looking up to and I, I had a list of all the mentors that I, I, I wanted to learn from them and I would research about the books they've written, uh, research, research their quotes, watch their documentaries and that's something that actually has worked for a lot of people. Like if you want to understand how a, a great person became great, you can watch the documentaries like watch the autobiography read the autobiographies like you need to put in the work so bottom line is there's no difference between someone who has a mentor like who sits with them one on one the only difference is maybe they get the, the network the connections that those people have and they're able to tap in but if you decide you want to step into the next level of your life and you you, you only uh excuses i don't have mentors i don't have people uh, who can show point me in the right direction then you don't have any other excuse research your field look around you and ask yourself who are some of the people who are actually killing it in my industry who are some of the people who are the greatest in my industry and then search more about them do your own uh, research and development analyze their data like what makes them tick what are some of the mistakes that they made that i want to make sure i don't do the same mistake what are some of the things that they actually uh, practice they they actually are consistent with and then try and try and emulate those habits and i can guarantee you with time you definitely become not only better or you actually can become greater than them like they, they say, sometimes uh, the student outs, outshines the master, but that's not going to come easy. Like you have to be willing to put in the necessary work. So I just want to encourage each one of you, like whenever you hear people saying, I don't know where to turn to, I don't know where I can get the resources at this time and age that we're living right now, the data or the information is on our fingertips. We are living in an age where we can connect with people from all around the world. And funny enough, and this is on a personal level, I've had people whom I thought I couldn't get access to them. But guess what? I would shoot them a DM on their Instagram or even shoot them a tweet. And sometimes some of them would actually answer me. And so sometimes you have to break down the fear or the barrier that we put for ourselves and decide, you know what? I'm just going to try out and see if this person is going to respond to me have this question i'm just going to try and ask them but ask, ask yourself this way if you want to reach out to someone who's great and you haven't even done any research about them you don't even know the the, the, the experience that they have or the things that they had to go through to become who they are once you get the opportunity to talk to them who, what are you going to ask them that's going to make them feel like yo this person actually knows what i've been through and they deserve a moment or they deserve a minute with me so you have to before you even approach someone to become your mentor you have to make sure you do your homework you do your due diligence you you know something about them and you're eager to learn from them so before the opportunity comes for you to meet all these great people you can actually tap into their wealth of knowledge by researching more about them learning what actually makes them tick and then see if you can emulate that and become great like they say a great artist steals like you have because nothing is new under the sun i'm not saying that you go out there and infringe on someone's copyright but i'm saying nothing is new under the sun you don't have to reinvent something that's already been invented you can add on your flavor to that invention and then create something unique that's always going to stand out so challenge yourself today if you feel like you don't have a mentor, if you feel like you don't have somebody to look up to, if you feel like you don't have people who can actually help you step into the next level, now it's, it's upon you to go out there and research on the people who are actually uh, great in that field, in whatever aspect you're working on, be it in, in, in creativity, be it in the entertainment industry, be it in um, the health industry, whatever industry you're in, research the top players, like the top five people who are actually doing great in that industry and take time to soak in the game. You can break it down, research more about them, their do's, their don'ts, uh, uh, their background. How did they manage to get to where they are right now? What makes them tick? What are some of the things they had to sacrifice or give up to be able to get to the next level? What are the habits? What are some of the things that makes them stand out? And if you break down like two or three or five people, you, um, I can guarantee you, you will notice a pattern. Like you will actually definitely notice a pattern. Like they always say success leaves trail. Like you'll notice something that actually majority of them do. Like the same thing. So and then once you get that information, it's upon you to not just soak in that information and not practice it. You have to act on it. 
if you want a breakthrough, you have to practice. Like action speaks louder than words. Like you have to put in the work. That's something I learned a long time ago. All talk and no action does not work. Like execute over excuse. So once you've learned, now you don't have any excuse for not executing. Do what is necessary. And if you decide I'm taking six months out of this year of the amount of uh, months that are left right now and I'm going to put in the necessary work. I'm going to show up every single day for myself. I'm going to uh, uh, refine my gift and uh, and make sure I'm stepping up every single day. And you have to overcome the fear of the unknown, the fear of not being uh and you have to overcome the fear of unknown, the fear of feeling like you're, you're, you're not great, you're not uh, capable of accomplishing anything in life. No, you have to hold yourself highly and believe if they made it, then I can make it. Then there's nothing hard in this life. You have to believe it is possible. Like anything you want to accomplish, you can become even better than the greatest. So push yourself out there. And learn from the people who came before you. Surround yourself with mentors. Uh, if you can find actually people who c- you can sit down with one-on-one, if you have the resources to actually uh, enroll into a masterclass and learn from the greatest, do that. But for those who don't have the funds, for those who live in different nations who are far away from the mentors, who don't even have uh, the, the connections, go out there and research on all the social media platforms you can find. Research about the great people around you, the people you emulate, the people you look up to, and learn what actually makes them tick, and then add your own little flavor. What I'm saying is you no longer have an excuse to say you can't find mentors. You can actually have a ton of mentors, and they don't even have to know that they are your mentors. All you need to know is as you're working out, as you're learning more about them you're like bro you don't even know you actually made me who i am because you was my mentor before you even knew you were my mentor so watch the people who came before you like we always say our ancestors left us my, uh, uh, in a lot of information and gems that we're actually using right now to to be able to elevate ourselves into the next level of our life and so we can use the same formula of learning from the people who came who came before us and learning from their mistakes learning from the, their victories their wins and then step into the next level of our life with all that wealth of knowledge so from now on you have no excuse go out there learn from them and then come back and execute anything you learn any information that you've gained if you don't practice it then it's of no use but as long as you learn something and you're practicing it you are putting it into work you're definitely gonna great great results all right i've done it for myself and this is something that like i said when i started like you have to sacrifice your time and energy and put in the necessary effort to be able to get the right results like you can say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and you're not doing anything like you have to show up for yourself if you don't have access to these mentors but you have access to their information you have access to the autobiography you have access to their to their projects and the thing that they've been able to do for example if you're an artist and you want to learn around about writing music study the music go out there look at the lyrics look at how someone was spitting bars how they were able uh, to to flip their words, like their cadence, how they were writing the music, how they were flowing. Like when you study the great, trust me, you're definitely going to become great in anything that you aspire to be. All right. And as always, this is Ownership and Greatness. My name is Joe. And I felt like it was necessary to just uh, put out that game because I feel like some people are, are holding themselves back just because they feel like they don't have mentors. But you have mentors all around you. The most important thing is deciding who you're going to get the information from. And I also want to say this and and repeat this. In as much as you're studying your mentors, you have to decide what information is relevant, like what really actually works for you. You don't have to copy and paste everything that they did because not everyone that is great did great things in life. Like some people did some crazy stuff to become who they are. But you have to ask yourself, how am I going to be able to take only the relevant information that can actually help you? Uh, mold yourself or make you better take whatever is necessary mix it up with your own little flavor and then go out there and execute all right until next time peace and blessing this is joe chege and this has been ownership and graces i love you all thank you ownership and greatness